Hey guys, we're going to do a quick DIY on how to clean rubber or plastic parts that has become um, decaying and become really sticky. So this is my lock. I had this for about probably five to ten years. I'm pretty sure. I'll leave a link below for this lock. It's just a regular bicycle cable lock. It's not a big deal. Um, but this is a quick DIY on how to remove all the sticky stuff. So after a while, plastics and rubbers you know, become sticky. They start decaying, I guess maybe because ozone or whatever. But uh, I'm going to use some toothpaste and go ahead and clean this, which is pretty straightforward and simple. You don't need any expensive tools here. All you need is a rag and uh, some toothpaste. I put some tissue paper on it because I went on a bike trip today and I didn't want it to stick to my clothing or anything, but it's still very gummy, very sticky. So got some toothpaste. This is just the dollar store toothpaste. You know, I'm not, I don't really buy expensive toothpaste. I just buy some this dollar store toothpaste. And you just go get like a, you know, just gonna slather it right over it. What's gonna happen is that the toothpaste is gonna bind with that gummy stuff. That's uh, part of the old rubber. And it's gonna basically bind with it so we can actually polish it. So this is basically just polishing it off. I did this on this side before, before I left and grabbed this lock, uh, but I forgot to do it on the other side. So long story short, I only did it once on that side and this side is the first time it's going. I'm gonna get my really dirty rag that I don't care to, don't use a clean one, just use, or don't use one you want to keep because all that rubber is, go, or the decaying rubber is going to transfer onto it. You're just going to go ahead and twist and clean it like this and I just keep on rubbing it until most of it transfers from the toothpaste onto uh, the rag. So there you go. That's pretty much it. One go around and you still feel a little bit stickiness on there, but most of the gunk is off because your um, tear cloth picked up most of it. If you like the video now, you could like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. But we're gonna go ahead and put another uh, bead of um, toothpaste, and I'm gonna rub it all over, massage it in, and I'm gonna also do the other side too uh, because I only had one coat. So let's go ahead and put some on that side. Get the rag, flip it over, and I'm gonna transfer more of this gunk off of my bike lock. I don't want to buy a new one, but hey, it still works. If you want to um, buy one, yeah, I have a link below. Of course, I also have, um, you know, toothpaste, but I wouldn't spend a lot of money on that toothpaste to, uh, just to do this. Just, just buy, just any old toothpaste in the household will work. Go ahead and rub that stuff right off that, um, onto the terry cloth and that should be fine, or the rag. Then I just do a quick rinse in case, you know, you don't want to smelling like mint or anything else. But that's really about it. I'm just rubbing off any other stuff and making it look clean and just giving this thing a quick, um, Put some dishwashing liquid here that's foamed. Scrub, scrub, scrub. It's really, really, pretty much it's a rag. You're, you're not gonna be able to reuse this for other things other than cleaning now because you have that rubber gunk stuck on it. But that's really about it. I'm cleaning up right now, but yeah, use this. I cut up little pieces of rag so I could use this just for this purpose. Old socks, whatever, as long as it's uh, rough enough and coarse enough to actually transfer the stuff. So it's now super smooth and that's good. That's really about it guys. For more tips and tricks and stuff on bikes or helpful hints and stuff like that, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, hit the bell button for um, more notifications as well as leave some comments below if this helped or worked or anything else like that. I'm glad to do this. Again, it's only a dollar. This is a dollar um, toothpaste. You got it from a dollar store or a 99 cent store. No big deal. But it beats you know buying an R15 dollar lock or whatever else like that. Just, yeah, that's money. Anywho, that's really about it. That's how you fix it. Good. Give me a like if you want. Put some comments below. Anyways, that's it. Anyways, um, anyways, I'm gonna work on the other one. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyways, um, that's it. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Oh yeah, I'll be doing more tips and tricks later. So stay tuned. More DIYs coming up. Bye bye.